The objective of Culture Summit is to actually convene a global community of cultural leaders. So uh, those include uh, arts administrators, artists, government officials, media people, technology people, um, philanthropists, teachers, uh, in order to try to get a conversation about how they can work together to help address really important global issues, whether it's combating extremism, combating climate change, empowering women, uh, education, other issues like that. Extremism seems like a very serious issue. Um, what do extremists do when they come into a region? They destroy statues, they destroy paintings, they destroy the culture. Why do they start with that? Because culture has power over societies. It builds cohesion. It gives them a sense of identity. And they feel that the only way they can succeed is by breaking that down. The flip is also true. If we can create culture, we help create identity, we help resist the kind of initiatives that we've seen in this region and elsewhere. And so that's a very, very serious issue. And you can't just solve that issue militarily. You also have to solve that issue by touching people's systems of belief, They're touching people in their hearts. Well, I think the UAE has been a leader. Uh, I think one of the things that distinguishes the UAE is its thought leadership, you know, whether it's uh, in medicine or whether it's universities that have located here or whether it's the arts institutions in Sadiat Island. The UAE has said we must draw the best minds from everywhere in the world and to do that requires investment in facilities uh, and it also requires a focus on tolerance, a focus on embracing those good ideas. And, and, and there's no place uh, in this region that has done a better job as establishing itself as a thought leader than the UAE.